pirates. I was about to make good my escape when... Cut! Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain everything. Don't bother. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were making a movie. So who are you? Stobart, George Stobart. Uh, two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks, he wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? The bun was so stale, it felt like a small rock. Hi, George Stobart. Hello, mate. You're English, right? Blimey, you don't miss much, do you? Bert Savage, have you seen what the caterers laid on today? Buns and pancakes. That's awful. It's an improvement on yesterday. The buns are stale, but the pancakes are bloody lovely. How long have you been in the movie business? Flipping years, mate. Absolutely flipping years. I was in the army before that. Thought to myself, you've been risking your bleeding neck every day. Why not cash in on it like? So you became a stuntman, just like that? Nah, of course not. I had to do the training first. What training does a stuntman do? First they told me to stand in the road. Then they run me down. Straight up. Drove at me with a car. I couldn't believe it. I was up on the bonnet and over the other side before I realized he wasn't stopping. Then they threw me downstairs a bit and gives me a certificate. Did you ever work with Carol Climax? The Dirty Dashand? I'll say. Flipping princess, mate. I heard she was very beautiful. Mind you, she acted like one too. Ordering this, demanding that. Did you ever meet Bertrand de Ubier? Meet him? No. I saw him a few times, though. He didn't like his wife being in films. Do you think Ubier murdered his wife? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Mind you, there were plenty of people who could have done her in. I thought the public loved her. Yeah, but people who knew her saw the other side. Would you like a bun? No way. The last one I tried cracked my dentures. Do you want to try some syrup with your pancakes? No thanks, mate. I've got to watch my waistline. Would you like a pancake, Bert? No thanks, mate. I'll play the ear. Would you like a pancake, Bert? No thanks, mate. I'll play the ear. Have you ever seen anything like this before? What's that, mate? Stone axe? No, it's just a piece of polished stone. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Shine it up a bit. You get a few bob for that. Would you like a pancake, Bert? No, thanks, mate. I've plenty here.
I was talking to Mr. Savage, the stuntman. Is he all right? What makes you say that? He's not making any sense. The guy's English. What's the name of the movie? Are you trying to be funny? No. It's Treasure Island, the only book I ever read twice. I don't recall any girls in Treasure Island. Gotta think box office. People like that kind of thing. What other changes have you made to the story? Just a few minor details. You haven't written out Long John Silver. Are you questioning my integrity as an artist? Of course Silver's still in it. We've even hung on to Captain Flint. His parrot. His trained attack falcon. Why do you think Blind Pew's blind? Did you say you've changed the ending of the story? That's right. Do they find the treasure? Yeah, but that comes later, after they've escaped the volcanic eruption. A volcano? Sure. Krakatoa. All the millions spent on a movie, and nobody thinks to buy an atlas. Who's the leading lady? Don't you recognize her? That's Sharon Kowalski. Oh, right. I'd never heard of her. You know what the locals call this place, don't you? No, but I guess you're gonna tell me. Zombie Island. Zombies? A crazed gleam came into his eye. Get me the writers! Get me makeup! I want zombie pirates in this movie by the end of today! Who's playing Jim Hawkins? Hi, Q. McEwen. Oh, don't tell me you've never heard of him. I don't go to the movies too often. Jeez. Haiku is only the hottest teen star in Hollywood. That's why we're on such a tight schedule. Gotta film the close-ups before he hits puberty. Hey there. I'm George Stobart. Well, hi, handsome. You're cute. I wish it was you playing the lead male instead of that kid. I can't act, ma'am. So what? I bet you can kiss. I couldn't believe I was having this conversation with a real movie star. What's it like sharing the spotlight with an actor who's young enough to be your son? What do you mean? What do you think of Hawk's treatment of Treasure Island? It's okay, I guess. I never saw the original. It's a book. One of my favorites. Really? The novelization's out already? What part are you playing? Pirate Babs, the ruthless and passionate Lady Buccaneer. It's a great part. I get to kiss a lot, and I kick ass. Like the boots? What do you think of these? Ew, they're awful. You have no idea how much you've just gone up in my estimation. Take a look at this ancient Mayan artifact. That's just a hunk of stone with a picture scratched on it. In a way, I guess. You don't happen to have seen anything similar, have you? No. I found this reed in the swamp on the other side of the island. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I used it to shoot a poison dart at a wild boar. It was a real-life drama, not just a scene from a movie. Right. She was having trouble with the whole real-life-is-not-a-movie concept. Would you like this bun? All right. Oh, wait a minute. Hawks is watching me. Don't let him see it. Oh, he's looking right at me. What's the matter? Never mind. Just put that cake away and pretend you weren't talking to me. Hi there. George Stobart. Uh-huh. Yeah. Haiku McEwen. You're playing Jim Hawkins, right? Jimbo. I had Mr. Hawks change his name. Jimbo Hawkins. Right. Is your name really Haiku? Yeah. It was my mom's idea, okay? When I was born, 
I was so small and perfectly formed, I reminded her of a Japanese poem. Well, I guess it could have been worse. She could have called you Limerick. That's my middle name. Did you always want to be an actor? I don't think of what I do as acting, man. You're not alone. It's more like I'm the voice of my generation. What I'm saying, I'm saying for the kids on the street. Which is what? I'm crap, I'm going nowhere? Huh? What are you saying, man? Stobart, get out of shot. Positions, everybody. I'll get a flip chart and explain it to you later, Haiku. Haiku, baby, are you ready? 